everybody. My name is Barry Thebos. I'm the energy manager and educator here at 21 Acres. And in honor of Earth Day, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and because of COVID, we're starting a virtual building tour. Uh, so this is our first installment here. Um, 21 Acres, to give you some context, is a nonprofit organization that supports sustainable agriculture and green building as climate solutions. And we're gonna be focused on the building today and green building in general. Um, and the reason that we're focused on that and why it's so important is that buildings produce about 40% of global emissions, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So that's pretty substantial. Uh, it's the largest, I think, single contributing sector um, to climate emissions. So the more we can do to reduce our impact in buildings, reduce our emissions, uh, the closer we're going to be to having a sustainable um, climate for everyone. So, um, green building. What, what is green building exactly? I mean, a lot of people have ideas about it, but let's just make a definition for ourselves here. Um, so green building is essentially a set of practices, um, a set of choices that you make when you're putting a building together that reduce its impact on the environment. Um, and these can be things from more things that are obvious like solar panels uh, to things that are more subtle like having access to public transit or um, a bike rack things like that a shower so that people can um, bike to work and still be able to have a professional appearance um, and then how you prepare the site um, you know the impact on the site when you're preparing it and then low VOC paints so there's a whole wide variety of things um, and in order to quantify these things, there's a number of green building standards in the world. So the Department of Energy has an Energy Star standard, which is all about energy reduction. Um, but our building was certified through LEED, um, which is, stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And that's the um, green building standard of the U.S. Green Building Council and probably the most commonly used green building standard, um, maybe in the United States, but broadly speaking, it's very, very commonly used. Uh, and our building achieved LEED Platinum, which is the highest um, LEED score that you can get. There's also gold and silver and just LEED certified. So that's a little summary of green building um, and what we're trying to define here and a little bit about LEED and certification. Um, but now I'd like to turn our attention to some of the features, um, some of the ways that we are able to reduce our impact. Uh, and I like to start here because it's a nice view of the building and it shows how well it blends with the surrounding environment. So you can really only see the very top of the roof and our solar panels because there's this earth berm in front of the building which is basically a big pile of earth or hillside that the building was kind of buried behind. Um, and that helps to passively heat and cool our first floor of the building and the whole rest of the building as well. And the living roof um, on this first floor in front of us as well also does some of that second floor, sorry. Um, so those are some of the benefits, the visual blending with the surroundings, which also brings in wildlife, creates some habitat. So we actually have um, Canada geese that nest on the roof in springtime as a testament to how well it blends with the environment. Um, yeah, and to talk a little bit more about the energy benefits of the hillside, let's walk over to our ventilation tubes. 